My next guest is Liberal member for Casey, Aaron Violi. Aaron, thanks for your time. In your electorate of Casey in Victoria, is the cost of groceries a big issue? Are people still talking about it? Hey, Kenny, it's, uh, it's great to join you. And absolutely, cost of living, uh, including groceries, is the number one issue that people in my community are talking about every time they go to the grocery store. It's uh, more expensive than ever and it's getting worse. So it's, uh, it's a huge challenge for people trying to survive and, and make ends meet. Do you support divestiture powers, the ability to break up big supermarkets with too much market share in certain areas? Well, I spent 10 years uh, plus prior to politics working in the uh, FMCG uh, industry uh, providing products to Woolworths and Coles. So I've seen firsthand uh, the challenges that suppliers have when they're looking to provide products to two big players in a market. So there's certainly a role uh, to make sure that that market share isn't used to abuse suppliers and put pressure on them. And I think there is a role uh, for divestiture. We need to make sure that we do get it right, take our time and ensure there is no unintended consequences and we're not losing some of the economies of scale that do come about by having a secure supply chain, uh, bigger players, they do provide that economy of scale, but we need to make sure that they're not abusing their market power, that's for sure. It's been reported that there's some in the Liberal Party that are against divest divestiture powers. Um, even Treasurer Jim Chalmers in his press conference this morning said the Coalition is all over the place when it comes to this particular policy. Are you confident that the Coalition can come together uh, when it comes to a strategy around this? I, I believe we will, and we've consistently shown over the last two years that uh, the Coalition, uh, while we're different parties and the Nationals will have their own opinion and uh, policies on areas, we work together uh, constructively, and Peter Dutton and David Littleproud have got a good track record over the last two years of, of working together and ultimately making sure that we come together as a Coalition with a good policy that will ultimately so solve some of the uh, challenges that Australian people have. And that's what we're working through at the moment. Unlike the Labor Party, uh, we have the ability and we encourage a diversity of views within our party room uh, to make sure that we get the best policy for the Australian people. And we'll definitely get there and make sure that we can bring uh, prices down for the Australian consumer. Well, Dr Craig Emerson, who is conducting the review, rejected the, he says, populist idea of a forced breakup, saying it would cost jobs and lead to store closures. What do you think of those comments? Oh, as, a, as a general comment, I, I mean, I think we can throw populist around uh, too much. The, uh, many other countries, Canada, the UK, the US, have divestiture powers. As long as we get them right, they have uh, a role to play. As I said, I've seen situations where Woolworths and Coles have used their market share to put pressure onto uh, suppliers and in many cases make it unviable for those suppliers, which does cost us jobs as well. And there's also situations where they will land bank or they will open up a, um, a supermarket in a town and, and make it impossible for others to enter that town. So there's some nuance that we need to get to, but you know, other countries have shown that if, it, if the legislation is right, it has the ability to make a difference. And as, as we've said as a coalition, sometimes the threat uh, of divestiture is enough to make sure that uh, big players are behaving as they should and not taking advantage of their market size. Right, well, in response to that, Dr Craig, Emerson says the threat has to be real. Um, so, you know, you've got you to be able to go through with it. It, it, it can't just be a threat. Oh, it has to be real, but it's both. So you need, the first thing you need to have is the legislation. And once you've got the legislation and the ability to use it, then those players have to um, abide by that. And if they don't, then it will be used. And absolutely, uh, a threat is only a threat if it's not been used. But history shows that once it's there, generally that behaviour cleans up. And, and we, we need to understand, as I said, I've worked in the industry, uh, making the code of conduct mandatory is not a silver bullet. It's not going to solve... Uh, many of the challenges in the industry and it's not in, in a significant way going to bring prices down. So we need to look at other avenues. It has a role to play uh, a mandatory code of conduct, but it's not the silver bullet for, for the industry and the challenges consumers face with high prices. All right. We're running out of time, but Aaron, um, just finally, while I've got you, former Prime Minister Tony Abbott says the Liberal Party needs to pick more women MPs. Do you agree with the former PM? What we need to do as a party is to continue to select great candidates, candidates that are local, that are connected to their communities, that understand their communities, 
that will fight for their communities. But we also need to make sure that we bring a diversity of experiences to the party room. Uh, we've selected Mary Aldred, Danny Monash, uh, close to my seat, of Casey, Katie, uh, Katie Allen in Higgins, Amelia Hamer in, uh, in Kuyong as well. So we've got to bring great people. And we're also bringing in uh, wonderful multicultural candidates as well. So we need a party room that is diverse and that represents the wider Australian community, but most importantly, is local and is connected to their community and understands the challenges and needs of each community because they are unique. You know, the challenges in Casey are different to a seat like Higgins or a seat like Kuyong, and we've got to make sure that we'll be a voice for our communities in the party room and in Parliament. Aaron Violi, we're out of time. Thanks so much for your time.